It's getting cold in New York, boys, but not as cold as this absolute scumbag, Paul Saladino, who has so kindly highlighted the last several years of my YouTube channel on the Joe Rogan podcast last Friday. And if you'd like evidence of this plagiarism and copying, just check out the past two videos I've done. Apparently, Rat Boy, Punctualadino, Mr. Clown Shoes, whatever you want to call him, wasn't too happy about this, so he sued me last year. And if he did this plagiarism in college or medical school, which he probably did, but wasn't actually caught, he would either be expelled or still retaking medical school. Maybe he was caught. That's why it took him until he was 42 years old to become a doctor. Uh, so back in December, right before Christmas and New Year's, I was served a lawsuit, which is the absolute scummiest thing you could do from a legal perspective because most law offices are closed for those holidays. It's basically a dirty lawyer trick. Wait till the day before Christmas to serve the papers so the person has to scramble after New Year's to find a lawyer. And that's what I had to do because I couldn't get in touch with lawyers for like two and a half weeks and then I had 10 days until I was going to get a default judgment against me. Just to briefly sum this up before I go over the entire case, I called up every lawyer in San Diego because that's where he sued me, which is ridiculous as he has no jurisdiction. And the lowest price I was quoted on for the motions I needed to file was a $10,000 flat fee and that took me like a dozen lawyers and a bunch of negotiating. I agreed to that and after six months of back and forth as well as delays due to the nonsense going on, the case was dismissed for that lack of jurisdiction. And I also filed for compensation for my lawyer fees but the judge did not grant them as you know, the motion to dismiss the case was granted and then the anti-slap motion which is like anti-free uh, speech protection. Uh, which would have refunded the lawyer fees wasn't even considered because the case was already dismissed. Uh, I would have had to give up jurisdiction in San Diego and then win that anti-slap motion to get my money back. Uh, maybe they were just all in cahoots and didn't want to pay me my money. Uh, then the lawyer billed me for an additional $3,000 uh, which I did pay because he did a lot more work than we initially agreed upon. You know, in hindsight, I would have flown over there and fought the case myself. It's just with the super strict timeline of the holiday BS, how my businesses were going, all of the Toyota Corolla fake nonsense. There was no way for me to do this without hiring that San Diego lawyer. How much more shit are they going to spray in the sky? Who's flying around? Flying out of New York to escape the poison clouds? So here is my stack of papers and this isn't actually all of the motions and declarations because if I went over all that stuff this would probably be like an hour long video and it wouldn't be that entertaining. So we're just going to go over the relevant stuff starting with the initial summons. Notice the defendant, Frank Tefano. You're being sued by a plaintiff, Paul Saladino, MD, in the Superior Court of California County of San Diego. Complaint for defamation and unfair competition. Saladino is an individual residing in San Diego County. Defendant Frank Tefano is an individual who, on information and belief, lives in or around New York City, New York. The conduct giving rise to this matter substantially occurred in San Diego County. Sal <laughs> Saladino seeks an award of damages in the sum of $60,000 and injunctive relief. Sorry that didn't work out, buddy. Saladino is a licensed physician and a certified functional medicine practitioner through the Institute for Functional Medicine. Saladino is passionate about understanding and correcting the roots of chronic disease and using this information to help patients enjoy better lives. To that end, he is the leading authority <laughs> I can't read this with a straight face on the science and application of the carnivore diet to human well-being, which is comical because at the time of this lawsuit he wasn't even carnivore for a year. Saladino offers fee-based private consultation services to consumers in San Diego and California regarding use of a carnivore diet to treat medical conditions. He has used this diet to reverse autoimmunity, chronic inflammation, and mental health issues in hundreds of patients. Saladino maintains a social media presence on the internet including on YouTube, Twitter, and through numerous collaborative podcasts including The Minimalist, Bulletproof Radio, The Dr. Gundry Podcast, 
the Ben Greenfield podcast, Dr. Mercola, Health Theory, more. All right, who cares? Tofano publishes videos and written statements on social media, including on YouTube and Twitter, to promote his own fee based medical nutritional therapy services regarding use of a carnivore diet to treat medical conditions, including to consumers in San Diego and in California. Tofano sees Saladino as a competitor vying for consumers. No, I see him as some absolute fucking dickbag who copied my work, to be honest. Stefano is not licensed or qualified to provide medical nutritional therapy in California. Okay, so so you're literally copying every single thing I do, and I don't have the qualifications, so, but you're using the same information. I, it's, it's, Tofano saw the growth of Saladino's presence on social media and the spread of Saladino's good reputation as a threat to his own enterprise. He took steps to address the threat. No, actually, Saladino tweeted me, and I looked into his stuff before I had him on my own podcast, and I saw the plagiarism. Stefano knew that Saladino was domiciled in San Diego, and he, knew, and he knew that Saladino sought consumers in San Diego and California for his business. That's absolute bullshit. That's the reason. He, he's just trying to make a case for San Diego, because that's where he lives. Stefano used his social media presence to falsely attack Saladino's good character and reputation for the purpose of hurting Saladino's business in San Diego and California. All the while, Stefano continued to promote his unlicensed and unqualified fee-based private consultation services to consumers in San Diego and California. Is anyone qualified to promote a carnivore diet? On November 7, 2019, Tofano published a 15-minute video on his YouTube channel titled Copy Pasta Salad, which features Tofano speaking directly to the camera and talking almost exclusively about Saladino throughout the video. The Copy Pasta Salad video publication includes a pin top message which states my, my consultation services. Within the Copy Pasta Salad video, Tofano describes himself as the source of all of Saladino's carnivore diet information and describes Saladino as a dishonest and unearing thief and drug user who's unqualified to provide dietary advice. <laughs> Specifically, Tofano made the following statements in the video, each of which is false. Saladino has copied me word for word. I mean, there's literal proof of that. Saladino is willing to blatantly lie. He's lying right here. Every single thing mentioned on Saladino's podcast was ripped directly from Tofano's videos. Most of it is, the talking points especially. All Saladino cares about is making money and promoting himself. <laughs> Saladino's sole purpose is to steal other people's information and make money. Not one word that comes out of Saladino's mouth is an original thought. I stand by that. Whether it comes from me or someone else, it's not his. Saladino plagiarized material from Tofano. Well, if the definition of plagiarism is copying someone without giving them credit, definitely. You can pay this clown doctor a thousand dollars for a half-assed explanation of Tofano's videos and someone has to pay for Saladino's Adderall prescription. <laughs> on November 7, 2019, Tofano also published a video on his YouTube channel titled Carnivores Don't Cover Their Tracks, which features Tofano speaking directly to the camera and includes numerous statements about Saladino, the video has over 12,000 views. Within the Carnivores Don't Cover Their Tracks video, Tofano asserts that Saladino pays people to download Tofano's videos on social media and that Saladino is a longtime drug user. Specifically, Tofano made the following statements, each of which is false. Saladino has failed to build a supportive audience to such an extent that he still needs to pay people to dislike my videos. And he, he's still doing that. I think his brain is literally destroyed from all the amphetamines he's been using for the past 20 years. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. Also within the Carnivores Don't Cover Their Tracks video, Zafano admits that he has been banned from all of the carnivore communities on Facebook and Reddit, but then further admits to creating a new account on Reddit and posting messages regarding Saladino on the two most popular carnivore forums on that social media site. Man, he's salty. The Reddit messages were titled, Popular Carnivore Questions Answered by Paul Saladino MD, and Great Q&A with Paul Saladino and included timestamps of content from actual Saladino videos such that the included hyperlinks appeared to link to Saladino's videos, but the disguised hyperlinks actually linked to Tofano's own copy pasta salad video on his YouTube channel. The messages have been since removed by Reddit. I mean, he can't really prove that. Tofano made statements to persons other than Saladino, including California consumers. Tofano expressly aimed or intentionally targeted California consumers with his statements. Uh, so he actually found uh, an old live stream where I was talking about how we had a lot of people that purchased meat from Frankie's Free Range Meat, which is completely different than fee-based consultation services. So that kind of irritated me. These people reasonably understood the statements to mean that Saladino had engaged in illegal or treacherous conduct, 
was dishonest, a thief, a drug user, and unqualified to perform his job as a provider of medical nutritional therapy. <laughs> not out of the realm of possibility. The statements tended to injure Saladino with respect to his profession, trade, and business, and cause Saladino to be shunned or avoided. The statements were likely to influence consumers in their commercial decisions. The statements were false. <laughs> not sure about that one, buddy. Tofano knew that the statements were false or had serious doubt about their... <laughs> Apparently not. The conduct of Tofano caused harm to Saladino's property, business, trade, profession, and reputation, and caused Saladino to incur expense. The conduct of Tofano was malicious and or fraudulent. Tofano expresses hate, hated towards Saladino, calling him rat boy and scum of the earth, and threatening, until I leave this planet, I will do everything in my power to make Saladino feel my pain. We're still working on that one. Saladino prays for entry of judgment in his favor and against Tofano for presumed actual damages and punitive and exemplary damages in the sum of 60,000 enjoining publication of the copy pasta salad and carnivores don't cover their tracks videos and for an award of cost and interest what's the 60 grand for is it so you can afford to pay more brazilian boys that look like me to dance with you in the gym all right next page this is funny so one of the podcasts he was on was the minimalist and after I saw Saladino was on a bunch of podcasts plagiarizing my information, I emailed those people and I said, hey, this guy plagiarized me in the past. You had him on his podcast. Just letting you know, it's not a good look. And these douches from The Minimalist testified against me. That's how connected they are. That's how much these dirtbag secret society losers work together. I, Joshua Fields Milburn, declare I reside in Los Angeles, California. I am a principal of The Minimalist, which has an established audience of more than 20 million people through our website, books, podcasts, and documentaries about The Minimalist lifestyle. We've been featured in The New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Time Magazine, and I've spoken about The Minimalist lifestyle at Harvard Business School, Apple, and Google. I'm such a smart Boy. So there's like 10 more points in here that it's just like legal jargon. Uh, they're basically saying we had Rat Boy on the podcast, Mr. Tofano emailed us after he was on the podcast, and we perceived it as an attack on Rat Boy's business. So go figure. Bunch of punks working together. Okay, I actually have the emails here. So the first email I sent was, Hi, I'm curious why you're giving Paul Saladino a platform when he has been on the carnivore diet for a matter of months. He's been stealing my information religiously. Is there some sort of corporate affiliation? Please be aware I have a large subscriber base on YouTube and it wouldn't look good from a PR perspective if I start revealing he stole information that was published on your podcast. Thank you, Frank Tefano. That was the first email I sent, May 2019. Oh, and then they had him on the podcast again and I sent them another email. But in that email, I just linked to them the three YouTube videos I did on his plagiarism. Go figure. Uh, so the last thing I wanted to touch on before we wrap it up is <laughs> another person, Dylan Randolph, in opposition to Frank Tofano's motion to quash service of summons. This fucking asshole ordered me from my company in California and is claiming that he's a client of mine. Like, I don't, what is he trying to say that I have clients in California because I sell them steaks? Those are two different businesses. This order was shipped to California and I received it in California. That, that, that's stupid. What is, what is a judge going to look at that? The declarations and statements I made against his statements were basically saying that it's not true. You know, not, nothing, really, nothing really interesting to talk about. What I think is hilarious is a lot of the things he's saying in his lawsuit are actually the things he was doing to me. I, I could sue him for unfair business practice, but I've spoken to a few lawyers and they basically said I would be wasting my money. Whereas on July 20, 2020, the court issued an order granting defendants motion to quash service of summons for lack of personal jurisdiction, denying defendants special motion to strike pursuant to the civil code procedure, and finding the defendant is not entitled to recover attorney's fees and costs pursuant to section 425. So, case is dismissed, I'm out 13 grand, uh, Rat Boy can go fuck himself. <laughs>